Namaste yogis. This is Steven from YogaWorks. Welcome to this practice, which I call a very good morning. Now, it's really important when you just wake up how the first activities you do are going to set the tone for the whole rest of the day. So I would like to share with you a brief practice that I like to do, which has just for me the perfect kind of mix of setting intentions, a little bit of breath work, a little bit of mindful movement with skill, with control, and at the end a brief meditation and a short relaxation. And it, I made it half an hour because we don't always have a full hour or more to practice. So even if you have a, a lesser amount of time, that shouldn't hold you back from starting your day off in at an amazing note. So let's get going. Take a comfortable seat. Close your eyes and arrive. You might have just gotten out of bed or maybe you're doing this a little bit later in the day. It doesn't really matter. But just take a moment to feel where you're at. And sometimes when you just wake up, your mind is nice and clear. It hasn't yet been flooded with all these um, input signals that we are confronted with during our regular day. So just enjoy that, that clear, open space, like a blackboard that has not been written on yet. And also feel in your body, maybe there's a little bit of tension or a bit of slowness that still remains from your night's sleep, which we're going to work on in a few moments. So this is a good time to set your intention for this day. What would you like to set out to achieve? I don't think we have to change the world with this. We can just start with uh, an intention to be present, for example. Every conversation you have, to be fully there. Maybe to use our screens a little bit less. Maybe it's to move a little bit more, and this is the first start of that in today's experience. Maybe it's to drink an extra glass of water or to eat something healthy. Maybe it's to tackle that challenging project that is waiting for you later without letting yourself be completely thrown off course by it. Or maybe you have something amazing to look forward to. Whatever your intention is, just see it clearly as if it has already happened. How would you like to feel tonight? What would make you feel really fulfilled and joyful when you look back this evening on the day you've just had? I will do a brief breathing exercise where we're going to be dividing the inhale into three equal parts. So if you want to open your eyes and just imagine the upper body is divided into three equal parts, so more or less the belly, and then the lower part of the rib cage, and then the upper part of the chest and underneath the shoulders here. So that's three parts. I'm going to guide you through the three-part inhale, then the exhale is going to be nice and slow, all the way down in one smooth, long exhale. Right, here we go. Close your eyes. Exhale all the breath out. Inhale into the belly and pause, one third. And then inhale another third into the lower part of the ribcage, pause. And then inhale the upper part of the chest and the shoulders, pause. Now you're completely full. And then take a slow exhale, everything through the nose, all the way out until all the air is gone. Again, inhale the belly, pause. Inhale, lower part of ribcage, pause. Inhale, all the way full, sip in a little bit of extra air at the top. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one third. 
poles. Inhale to two thirds. Pause. Inhale to all the way full, three thirds. Pause. Exhale, six, five, four, three, two, one. One more round. Inhale, one third. Pause. Inhale to two thirds. Pause. Inhale to all the way full. Keep your attention on the sensations of the breath. Pause when you're full. Sip in a little bit of extra air. And then exhale as long as you can. Take your time to let the breath flow out. To let the whole body soften down and relax. And then let your breath return to normal. Now let's come into downward facing dog. And as you just woke up, it's probably a good thing to keep the knees a bit bent, maybe move around a little bit, shake off some of the, the stiffness from the early morning. Maybe it's a bit cold, which also affects how open and flexible you might feel. Might need to warm up a little bit first, which is quite normal. We're usually more flexible in the evenings than in the mornings. So don't push too far too quickly. Give your body a little bit of time to open up. Nice. From here, we'll walk the feet in just about a foot distance, so just shorter down dog, and then just reach your right hand back, hold the left ankle and pull through just for a moment. Place right hand down, left hand to right, lower leg, ankle, wherever you reach, it's fine. Place it down a couple more times. Right hand to left, lower leg. Right hand down, left hand pull through and twist. One more time each side, left hand down, right hand reaches back. Doesn't matter where you hold on, just get a little twist. If it's too far, walk closer, left hand to right shin. And release. Walk your feet back to the normal down dog length. And then step right foot forward inside the right hand. Uh, take your right hand inside the right foot and then make a slow circle, reach forward, forward, forward and then all the way up and all the way back behind you and then all the way down. So it's a full circle, right hand down, downward facing dog. Step the left foot forward. Reach your left hand forward, forward, forward. All the way up, feel that shoulder open. All the way back towards your back foot. And then all the way down, left hand down, downward facing dog, right foot forward, here we go again, reach forward, all the way up, how big can you make that circle, reach all the way back, and then down, back to down dog, left foot step it forward, reach forward, reach, open up, reach far back, Place the hand down, left foot back, one more time, right foot forward, circle. Imagine painting a line all the way around as if you're crafting your day in your morning practice, which is exactly what we're doing, of course. Reach your left hand forward, draw up, reach back, left hand down, downward facing dog. And then step your feet forward into a squat, malasana, at the front of the mat. Adjust your squat so that it is comfortable for you. And if you need to modify, maybe you need to lift the heels a little bit. Or support yourself with your hands, then that's fine. Nice. Keep your hands to the center line. We're going to start reaching all the way up. Push your feet down to straighten the legs. And slowly... Pull yourself back down from the hips. Place your hands down, right foot back into a low lunge. And then left foot steps back as well into plank. Inhale plank. 
Exhale, slowly lower all the way down. Locust pose, reach your hands back. This is really great to strengthen the muscles along the spine. And then back up into downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale the right foot forward. Stay for another inhale. Exhale, left foot forward and squat. Hands to heart, take it all the way up. Reach to the fingers. And then down the midline, squat down again. Nice, hands down. Step the left foot back into a lunge. Keep the back heel and the back knee lifted. Plank pose is next. Step right foot next to left. Inhale, plank. Keep it strong in the belly, in the legs. Reach forward and lower down. Locust pose, reach hands back. Slide your chest forward. Hands down. Downward facing dog. Inhale in down dog. Exhale the left foot forward. Stay in the lunge. Take another inhale. Exhale, squat at the front. Hands go all the way up and all the way down. Let's take a moment here and squat. We'll step back to downward facing dog. So you can just step back or if you want a brief crow pose, then you can of course do that if you feel a little bit adventurous and playful this morning, then absolutely don't let anybody hold you back. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Maybe you've been here for a little while. That's perfect. Step your right foot forward. Keep the back knee lifted for now if you can and place your hands on your front knee. And then just feel the legs are moving in different directions. Keep pressing the feet down nice and grounded through the lower body. And then reach your hands back and clasp the fingers behind your lower back. Use this to pull the shoulder blades a little bit together and to broaden the chest. And if you can, even press the heels of the hands together. Now with your hands, pull apart a little bit like the hands want to escape from the bind, but the fingers stay clasped together strongly. Maybe stretch back to the back heel a little bit more. Nice, bring hands together to the heart. Twist your left elbow over the right knee and twist to the right. If you're feeling a bit unstable this morning, you can of course place the, the back knee down for a bit more stability, no problem. And then lower the hands down. Down dog or a slow vinyasa. Take your time, there's no rush. Downward facing dog. Step your left foot forward. Keep the back knee lifted if you can. Come up, high lunge. Feel the feet pressing down and pull the feet a little bit towards each other, towards the midline. So give you a nice, strong lifting feeling up through the pelvic floor and through the whole spine. And then reach hands back, clasp them together, pull the shoulders a bit back, open the chest. And then like we did before, pull the hands apart a little bit. You'll feel this activates the outer shoulders there. Juice up your back leg a little bit more if it's available. Keep pulling the legs together, make it strong. And then release hands to heart. We're twisting right elbow over left knee. Push that right elbow down into the knee and rotate the left shoulder open. Keep the back leg strong, if it's too much, lower the back knee or try to keep it lifted if it feels good. Another breath or so, pull the left hip back. And then lower the hands, either keep moving or down a dog. There's always child's pose 
if you need a little break. It's a brief practice, so we're definitely over halfway. Step your right foot forward, last standing sequence, warrior two. Stretch the arms forward and back. Then come into cactus arms, bend your elbows. And bring right elbow under the left for eagle arms. Lift the elbows a bit, press your forearms away from you and broaden the upper back. Either stay here or I like to fold forward in the middle between the legs to see where you get to. Hang down for a moment while the legs stay strong. And then slowly lift back up. You can let go of the eagle arms. Place the right elbow to right thigh. Left arm reach it over. Open that side body. Often gets a bit compacted while we sleep. While we sit at desks. I'll give you another option here. If you want to rotate that left arm around your lower back. Keep it here. This is a half bind. Or for some of you, if you want to go for the full bind, the right arm can go under the right thigh. Maybe find the left hand and then maybe lean back a bit. If this causes you to lose your breath and to struggle and suffer, then don't do this bind. It's a bad idea. But if it feels good, so nice shoulder work, then you can of course incorporate that into your practice. Let's release down dog or keep moving. Into down dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, warrior two. Good bend in the front knee, strong feet pressing down. And then cactus arms. Bend your elbows about 90 degrees. And then bring left elbow under the right this time. For eagle arms. Lift the elbows and press your forearms away from you. Feel the stretch in the upper back, back of the heart, between the shoulder blades. And then fold forward between the legs. So it doesn't matter where you end up. Keep the legs strong, but relax the upper body here. Let the breath flow with ease, and if it doesn't, then just back off or even skip that pose if you need to. Release the arms, come back up, left elbow to left thigh, right arm over for side angle. You can stay here, this is, this is it. Or the right arm can rotate and the back of the hand can rest on lower back. That's a half bind. If you want the full bind, then lower the left shoulder to its left armpit. Uh, no, that's, that's not right. Left shoulder to its left knee. And then maybe that left arm can go under and behind that hip to find the right hand. You can always use a strap to make your arms a little bit longer here. And then if you're like collapsing down and you can hardly breathe, and this is not the pose for you, but if you're able to lean a little bit back and use the bind to open that right shoulder, then that is a good thing. So the bind is not always the best idea. You'll have to find out for yourself. Release the hands. Inhale plank. Exhale lower to your belly. Last cobra or up dog or whatever you choose. Exhale lower down. And then roll over onto your back. We're likely to spend a good amount of our day sitting, whether we like it or not. That's just often the reality. So we're going to strengthen the glutes a little bit. So we've got a better chance of good posture and to correct some of the imbalances that often happen with the sitting. So press your feet down, lift the hips. Don't go too high, but go until you feel a really good stretch at the front of the hips, the front of the thighs, and then really squeeze your buttocks to lift the hips up. 
don't focus too much on the spinal extension and then lower down we'll do that a few times squeeze the glutes to lift the hips and lower down again push your feet down squeeze the glutes lift the hips high and lower down a few more times lift and lower three more lift and lower two more lift and lower last one lift hold this time press your feet down pull your heels towards you this will activate the hamstrings as well as well as the glutes really great work three two one and lower down place your feet a little bit wider maybe the edges of your mat lower both knees to the left you can open your arms wide if you like to that left ankle can rest on the right knee but it doesn't have to brief moment here to rest in this counter pose and then release the feet keep the feet the edges of the mat both knees to the right maybe right ankle on the outside of the left knee and a few breaths here a simple twist and release slowly come up come into a comfortable seat close your eyes lengthen the spine but without introducing tension or without becoming rigid Keep the shoulders soft and open the chest open the head reaching up to the sky and take a moment to take stock you woke up not so long ago you jumped straight onto your yoga mat you made a decision clearly to take care of your health your body your mind of your emotions and to start your day on a really positive note whatever happens after this is going to be affected by how you have prepared your body and mind for the day that lies ahead so imagine meeting everything and everyone during your day the same way you met the yoga poses some are feeling amazing and are just what you need it's such a pleasure and some a little bit challenging but you stay present you are learning more every time you meet the yoga pose or the situation and you keep coming back having learned more each time Take a few more moments to cultivate your awareness of that inner space. Without thinking about it, feel your body from the inside. What we're doing is not analyzing or scanning, it's just becoming aware. How does the inner body feel? In yoga, we say there's an unlimited reservoir of inner strength that lies dormant in all of us. And through these yoga practices, meditation, breath work, movements, we awaken that energy and we can use it for whatever we choose to.
and whatever comes from that inner space, your actions, your thoughts, your emotions are going to reflect what is inside. So if there's turmoil and anxiety, then what comes out will reflect that. If there's stillness, joy, kindness, then that will also be reflected in everything we do. You're welcome to stay for a little bit longer or also a good idea is to take a brief Shavasana. I know you just woke up, but this is really great to again set the tone for the day. It's not all pushing and rushing. It's also the times where you hold back, where you step back and relax for a moment. It's as important as pushing harder. So just for a brief moment, let your body relax and soften. Let the breath slow down. And move your hands and move your feet. Bend your knees, roll over onto your side. And then push up into sitting. Bring your palms together in front of the chest. Touch your hands to your forehead, to your heart. And bow to yourself on the mat. Namaste. Thank you so much for starting your day like this. I really wish you a very good morning. And I hope to see you again soon. Take care.